After two years working on my ancient Greek themed tower defense game, Atlanta TD, I finally reached the art stage where I'm updating the characters. Which got me thinking, how important are the little details in games? When I play games, I usually don't notice visual polish right away. It's more about the controls, the environment, or the story. But maybe that's because the visuals are doing their job. Nothing stands out in a way that breaks the immersion for me. It looks natural. But the thing is, a game isn't just naturally good. All those visual effects, animations, and feedback systems that feel seamless, they didn't just appear, they were built, carefully, over hours and hours of iteration by artists, designers, and developers, tweaking the tiniest pieces until they just felt right. And that's where I'm at now. And as a solo dev, I find myself asking, is all this effort worth it? There are so many hours I'm sinking into creating an animation or a system to support an animation. And when I play the game, it is so hard to notice. And partially that's the fault of the game's design. It's almost like a bullet hell with how much is going on. And this leaves me wondering, how much is too much when it comes to adding little details in games as a developer? Let me show you what I mean. Look at the following two clips and see what you notice. This is clip one. And this is clip two. This is from my game's current build. Did you notice the difference? Let's put them side by side and slow it down. Maybe now it's a bit more obvious. The context is this. When an enemy moves along the path, the hero turns to face them. In clip one, they just snap to the new direction. In clip two, there's a small hop and step barely noticeable detail, but one that can really make a difference in keeping the world immersive. And that's what surprised me. In early testing, the instant rotation felt robotic. It was like the characters weren't really there. Something was missing, but I couldn't tell what. So I started experimenting. I added a little hop using tweening, then a footstep animation, then a simple dust particle, and suddenly the characters felt alive. Even without an attack animation yet, the world felt more responsive, more real, and I could see how this is becoming a game. Now, back to the big question, how far do you go with this kind of polish? Because one animation is just the start. Take my game for example, there is a handful of different things going on. There's the character shooting, there's the tile shaking, there's the projectile firing, there's the smoke effect from the projectile, the impact particle, the hurt animation. There's a lot going on. So when do you just say enough is enough? Or how do you identify what really matters in this seemingly never ending list of polish? And honestly, the answer comes down to a few things. How impactful is it in the game? Are you actively noticing it when you're playing? Are all these extra effects causing more harm to the game's performance? And something that can be counterintuitive is, are you going out of your way to extend your code or refactor systems to support this new animation? And if so, how sustainable is that? From idea, to prototype, to alpha, to release, your game is continuously evolving. So naturally, your codebase will too. But if you're finding yourself refactoring systems to support one aspect of the design, that if you took away that design, the system will break, then it's a fundamental issue on the design, and it's probably not worth spending the time working on that. Now it's also extremely important to note, you are going to be your own worst critic. You will sink hundreds, if not thousands of hours developing your game, to the point you are noticing things that not even the most dedicated gamer will ever notice. You're in the weeds of your code, and you know how every aspect of it works, and you might feel that something isn't working as intended, or it doesn't feel right to you. I would guarantee that if you show that to someone else, they would never look twice at it. They wouldn't even notice it, and that's because as I said, you know the ins and outs of your game. But for someone just casually playing, it's going to go right by their head. Because ultimately, they don't know the intention. They'll probably just look at what's happening and accept that it's meant to be like that. Even if you know, deep down, that it's not. So be cautious about that when making certain decisions with the game or with certain aspects of the design. In the end, I don't think little details always matter, but they do when they serve the bigger picture. If a detail helps someone stay immersed for just a second longer, maybe it was worth it. Let me know in the comments, which clip of mine felt better to you? 
and leave a comment down below as well on your thoughts. Do small details make a difference? Are you like me and sometimes you skim over the small details? Or if not, what's a small detail in a game you've played that made a big difference? If you liked this video, consider supporting the channel by interacting with YouTube's funny buttons. Funny things will happen when you press them. Like, maybe more people will notice me and my game. Isn't that funny? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for sticking around and I hope to see you on the next one.